Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So today it's time to take a look at what are the main talking points right now. So we'll take a look at the interview I done with Pi from the Sunday Swap team, give you a very high level view of what happened there, the solution they have, details on the ISO, the launch, and a few small other things that came out since the interview. Also, the PAB has now gone on the testnet, which is a great step forward. We've been making some changes to building on Cardano as well. We'll have a quick look at that, as well as talking about the overall market. So Bitcoin making some really nice moves overnight. Things seem very, very bullish right now. So we'll take a look at all of that and kind of what is to come as well. If you get value, please do give the video a like. Let me know your own thoughts at the minute, what's going on, where things are at, and do share it out if you think others can benefit. Also, if there is some of the projects you'd like to see me interview, Put them in the comments down below. I am talking to lots of different projects at the minute. Talked to our Dana last week. That one should come out in the next day or two. Talk to the CTO there. Kind of all about the EUTXO building on Cardano, what it all means. Talking to Wi-Fi tomorrow. And I have a few others in the pipeline that we just need to confirm times with as well. So if you need a stake pool as well, please do consider my own under the ticker, Paul. Let's jump into it. I do also have a giveaway from Cardano Combat, which is a really good NFT project on top of Cardano with their season two coming up. So we'll talk about that towards the end as well. And timestamps will be below if you want to go to certain sections. So starting out with Sunday Swap. So I did have Pi on the channel. It was great to catch up and find out what has been ongoing with them, where they're at. So they put out this article here. Let's go to the top all about their scooper method, which is going to be their solution for Cardano, for their decks building on top of Cardano. So with Cardano, anyone who is unfamiliar, if you watch this channel, you probably know all about it, but concurrency, something that was blown out of proportion that says DeFi can't happen on Cardano, when in reality, it just means that things cannot be done the same as they've been done on Ethereum, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So there's lots of different solutions on how you can work around this and what way you can do it. So Pi goes through a lot of this in the interview as well and explains it really well. So I'm not going to try and explain the different methods here. I will put the links below if anyone wants to check them out and a link to this document as well. So even for our education to look at the different types of solutions, what's possible, lots of different terminology here explained, you can go through it, different types of ways of working, advantages, disadvantages of the different methods. And the one that they're going with is what they're calling the scooper method. And for this, what they need is stake pool operators to run some extra code as well to help in this process and to help decentralize it because it's probably something they could run themselves, but then they wouldn't really be a DEX because there would be certain parts of it that would be centralized. So they're spreading it out among their partners. So I have put my hat in the ring for that. I have submitted a proposal and the people that are picked to be the scoopers in this method will also be the pools that they use for the ISO. So I have put in my application. There will be a vote, a public vote, I think over the next week or so, but I'll do a dedicated video on it when that information is out. We're the public, you guys can vote for who you trust to be a part of this and who you want to see as the pools for their ISO. So again, information on that will hopefully come over the next week. The solution here, I'm not going to get into it because I will probably, I won't be able to explain it as well as Pi does. The link to this interview is down below and it's 27 minutes, but again, there are timestamps where you can skip to certain sections in it. Since this came out, they did put out the application process for SPOs to sign up. They say here they had over 500 applications which is huge to see, to see the support as well that's out there. And what was the other thing? So the ISO voting dashboard and all that is going to come out. So they talk about that there. And they also talk about this here, Emergo. So they have integrated with Uroi. So they have integrated with a private version of Uroi. So up to this, they have been integrated with NAMI, which is a really good wallet out there as well. And actually just on NAMI, NAMI has now added hardware wallet support, which is something I mentioned before that I'd love to see them doing. I haven't been able to test out the hardware support yet, but that came out about two, three days ago as well. But you can see here in this video that Sunday Swap put out, I have shared it over on my Twitter, looking how it integrates with Uroi, the same way they did with NAMI. 
So anyone familiar with Ethereum, you would have MetaMask over there. So this Uroi or NAMI will be the equivalent of MetaMask where you interact with the DEX from there. So again, great to see steps like this. Another really good one, actually that's the ISO application. More information on that during the week. The PAB is now out on testnet as well. So this is something I have talked about for a while now that we need this. The dApps that are trying to build on top of Cardano need this. Well, there's ways around it. And actually on that, Pi goes into in the video how they've worked around it. They have essentially built their own PAB, which is custom built for the Sunday swap needs. But a lot of other projects are waiting for the IOHK one. And it's now gone on to testnet. So currently, the apps are all testing this, trying to see will it be enough for their needs and they will be given feedback over the next few days and hopefully we will see this going on to the mainnet very, very soon. As soon as I get that, you can be sure I will be shouting about it because that means that it's out there for the D apps to then launch on the mainnet. So I think that was it there. So they're talking about the essentially Cardano, the different D apps and how they're interacting with them at the minute. And just actually on that, Paddy has been adding some really great updates to building on Cardano. So over on the tokenomics now, so this, anyone who hasn't seen this, this is the site that myself and Paddy from the Shamrock Stake Pool have brought out for projects that are building on Cardano. Anyone can come on here, any project can register, add their project for free. And then for anyone researching the project, it's a great place to go and get all of the information in one place. So you look here under tokenomics is the new addition. You can see when a project has their Cardano native asset policy ID in, it will then using Coyus, using an API into Coyus, which is a really great resource. Again, I'll leave a link to them down below. They allow you to pull information directly from the Cardano chain. It'll pull back the max supply. It pulls back the amount of wallets. So this is the amount of holders of the token and then the number of transactions as well. So this is all going to be built out into graphs. So you can see over time how it all works. But it's great for me anyway, when I'm researching a project, it's great to be able to get all of these different kind of metrics that are there as well. One other update that is going to come, it's not live yet. Paddy just sent it to me a while ago. You can see there will be a new tab for ecosystem and you'll be able to get the nice display here of all of the different projects, the different areas they fall into. And again, this will expand over time as well. So lots going on there as well. Okay, let's take a look at the markets then. Let's see how things are looking. So if we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin had a very nice break overnight. You can see broke up through the old all-time high of $65,000 up towards the 67, which is the current all-time high. I, what's actually very good to see on the charts as well, you see it better on an hourly, is broke up through it, had its pullback, got its support in around here, and now looking to make a move up towards that $67,000 and hopefully beyond. So lots of talk of plan B's, $98,000 Bitcoin this month. Some people say it's impossible. Some people say we'll blow straight past it. And look, it's definitely possible when you look at the last few months, it's just, it is a bit out there, but not, not completely impossible. We'll take a look at the returns over time now in a second. But anyone who hasn't heard of it, Plan B put out a model back. He put the model out back a good while ago now, but back in May or June, he made predictions on the next few months and they have all come true. He made them back at that stage and he's hit every one of them so far. If I can find the screenshot, I'll put it up here after recording. But if we look at what it would take, actually, let's look at the history, the... Bitcoin monthly returns, the history of it. And this is over on BuyBT. Actually, they've changed name. It's not BuyBT anymore, it's CoinGlass. This is something I show lots of different stats from this site over time, especially on Twitter when I'm putting out some screenshots and that. Generally, it's from this site. So you can see this shows you the history of Bitcoin returns since back the beginning of 2013. So if we look back here, November has generally been a very good month for Bitcoin. Obviously 2018, 2019 wasn't great years at all, especially 2018 for holding cryptocurrency in general. Really tough bear market. I don't think we're going to see bear markets of that scale going forward. I think the way the cycles work, I'll do a full video talking about my own thoughts on it, but I don't think we see them prolonged bear markets over the next while. Bear markets definitely will come, 
and there will be some huge pullbacks in them but I think they're going to be a lot quicker than they have been in the past just due to the amount of outside interest that is there now but if we look back 2013 which the big bull runs were 2013 and 2017 2013 450% in November I'm not saying we're getting anything like them types of numbers but 2017 then 53% 2020 which wasn't the full bull run that we're in right now was 43 percent in november so if we were to get anything like a 53 percent in november if we look at the chart then where that could actually take us let's look at the monthly we'll set this up a bit better so you can see here actually that was a 43 what i why was I looking 43 so 43 was actually what we would have had last year so i was looking at if we got a 43 again you could potentially be up at 80 87 thousand dollars 87 and a half thousand dollars if it went to the 53 that we had in 2017 then you're up around 94 thousand dollars so the types of returns to get to a 98 thousand bitcoin they're not they're not crazy they're not completely out there they are possible but who knows what's ha what's going to happen the market to me right now looks extremely bullish doesn't look like slowing down we see lots of coins popping we see lots of altcoins popping i know cardano isn't doing it yet i still do believe longer term we will get there some people are flipped over into other coins short term to try and gain it there and then come back into ada later i'll tell you what i'm doing myself in a second but overall the bitcoin chart looks very very good if we look at the dominance you can see that's the monthly actually we look at the daily we need to refresh it so you can see as bitcoin's making its move we're starting to see some of the money flowing back out of altcoins into bitcoin potentially we see a little bit more of this over the next few days and as we get into later in the month towards the end we start to see lots of that money starting to flow into altcoins this definitely will come back down here at some stage this is the dominance actually this is how bitcoin fares against the rest of the market in terms of dominance and if we actually look at dominance we crossed a huge milestone today crossed over three trillion dollar market cap for cryptocurrency last year can i show it here you can see here setting new all-time highs right now even looking back at the start of the year let's see so if we look back at May 2020, January, the start of the year, we were below a trillion dollars. So we passed a trillion dollars in January and haven't looked back since really. So even just a year ago, we were in around two, three hundred billion dollars. Now we are 10x that, over 10x that in terms of the overall cryptocurrency market cap. And things right now look like they're going to go a lot higher. As always, have your own plans in mind what you want to do. So if we look at the ADA chart then, and we'll refresh this, you can see that every time we come down, this is on a four hour chart, every time we come down anywhere near this same buy zone that I've been talking about, the 189 to $2, we are getting some serious buying pressure in around here. Back at this point, when we dip down here, the same all in around here, and then over the last two weeks, we're seeing lots of people accumulating at this stage. So as some people are getting impatient, they see everything else shooting off, they don't want to wait for ADA, then we see lots of other people are in here accumulating because they see what's coming long term. For me, once the PAB goes to mainnet, once the apps start launching, that is the time frame when Cardano actually kicks off. And if you have been following this channel for a while, you know that is what i've been talking about since smart contracts launched we talked about a pullback that we were going to get it and we weren't going to see the real run for the ada price until d apps and everything like that started launching that hasn't changed it's definitely taken a few or got a few steps closer this week with the release of the pab with all of the updates from sunday swap that they don't actually need the pab to launch they just need to finish things on their side with the audit getting onto mainnet things this week definitely look a lot better for the ADA price than they have in the last while. Soon we should start to see this moving up. Again, what you do with your own portfolio is up to yourselves. For me, most people watching now know that I do hold multiple coins, but that ADA is one of the biggest in that portfolio. And for now, I'm holding tight on that position because of where I see this going longer term. And then four things where I'm looking for quicker multipliers. That's where I'm going to be looking at the projects launching on top of Cardano because 
Lots of these projects, when they launch, there is going to be incredible movement in the markets at that stage. It's going to help the ADA price, obviously, because it's bringing more and more people into the ecosystem. But them individual coins will be the ones that will really pop off with bigger multipliers. But again, I'll be putting a lot smaller percentage of the portfolio into them. Bigger portions stay in ADA because of what I see, where I see it as a safer investment longer term. Again, videos like that are to come once we get closer, once I start to see that these things are launching and once we have hard dates on them. So then on the giveaway that I mentioned at the beginning of the video for Cardano Combat, so I did mention these a while back, back on when they done season one. So season two is now coming out and they've given me another card to give away. When you go over to their website, you go to the roadmap. What I really like is you see, it's not just the collection. There's a lot more planned down the line and even the artwork, it's a lot higher quality than we see in some of the projects out there. They do have a game coming out fairly soon. Season two is coming out the end of November. So I'll put a link to their website and their Twitter down below. You can check that out. And can I find the card they gave me actually? They sent me over this image. This is the one I will be giving away. Down below in the comments, all you have to put in is combat. Include the word combat in whatever comment you put in. And then I will do the draw next week to see who is the winner of this card. They have given me a second one as well, which I will give away over on Twitter. As you can see, the artwork in these cards is high quality. And a Talaprism, a lot of people will recognize that. I've talked about that for what Cardano are doing with within Ethiopia, within what they're doing with Boost Mobile. That is all based on a Talaprism. The same with World Mobile. They're using a version of a Talaprism for identity. To me, this is one of the silver bullets that Cardano have long term. When you put on DeFi and everything on top of that, it really is building a massive ecosystem that should last the test of time. As always, let me know your own thoughts below. Give the video a like, share it out if you think others can benefit and don't forget to subscribe, notifications on for the upcoming videos because there will be a lot more coming now fairly quickly as we get up close to, to the actual launch, to the time that we have been waiting for to see dApps and everything going live. Thanks for watching guys, I will talk to you soon.